Hey folks, so I promise this one really short. Got a new one. I think I'm gonna call it T Worn, you know, from T Rex, because it does originate from the T Rex. Here's the original T Rex, and there's a T Worn, Warncliffe. I wanted to do this project for a while. It's It came out pretty sweet actually. It was kind of iffy how it's gonna look, but I kind of like it. It's a mean looking Warncliffe, a little different than what you normally see in the Warncliffs. It has a mean tip. Actually, not not really super thin. I mean, the grind is nice and thin, but it has a lot of steel behind it. Because the grind isn't such so high, you know. Yeah, it's. You see, I try to do it like really nice and straight. It's not perfect, perfect. What I try to do on the angle to have a leaner grind here and kind of get it a little stiffer, uh, thicker towards the end. So the tip is, you know, a little stronger, and here is a little more of a slicer, you know, better cutter. Looks pretty sweet, did the horizontal grinds on the flats, you see where the logo is. And then, kind of nice satin finish, it's all oddly now. That satin is pretty neat, it's pretty uniform, you see there, that actually looks quite nice. Also that satin on the flat is nice tiger stripe with the toxic green liners kind of cool cool shape handle i did kind of like a new new thing i experimented with and uh, another cool thing what why this one was kind of big experiment for me it's not only experiment with the shape but what i did for the first time it probably doesn't look like much but that tank should have been tapered i think it is it probably is tapered very little bit, but it is tapered, I tried it, and it is. I don't know if you can actually see the difference. I think you can pick it up. You see how narrow it is towards the end, and it's wider towards the front. So kind of like the tank, the actual stack narrowers to, towards the end, so you lose, lose a little bit of weight on the end, and kind of balance the knife a little bit in these small knives with the thicker stack. Sometimes you, it's nice to balance a little bit, and it was my first time trying it, so didn't go crazy well. I I could take off a little more, but I'm I'm just a little worried. I don't want to ruin a knife, so little you know baby steps, <laughs> baby steps. I like it. I think there will be people who will really like it. It you know what it reminds me of for some reason I don't know why it reminds me of Angry Birds. Kylie actually, a long time ago, when I did one of the first uh, design your knife giveaways, Kylie designed a little, I think, little knife that had a little similar shape. It was uh, inspired by, I don't know why, Angry Birds. Uh, tell me it doesn't look like something from the Angry Birds. I think Warn, T Warn, T Warn is a pretty decent name. Cool blade, very comfortable in the hand, you know, nice, nice chunky handle. Not too chunky, but just nice, comfortable handle. And that, that blade looks actually pretty cool. I like it. Again, move the thumb ramp up front even more this time. And not, no so pronounced, so the thumb is really nice there, you know, right here on top of the main cutting edge. So, guys, let me know what you think. I think it's not bad. I just wish I, I was a little better at grinding. Uh... No, that's the flat always exposes the, all the little mistakes, but you know what? It's not bad. It's 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 all right for amateur. It's pretty good. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And remember, don't cut yourself.